Shalom, Monastero of Souls, but give no praise to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushar, Bashem Kakodash. The Balon is supposed to great most and honest you brothers doing the work the most on truth and in sincerity. Yahweh's real name of whom the world ignorantly calls God Jehovah or Yahweh, his real name is Yahweh, and his son's true name is Yahweh Shai. And when we pray, we pray Yahweh Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bermini in, Hermini in the Ansham, meaning names Yahweh, the name of Yahweh Shai. Um, this one's, um, you know, starting off with myself, um, but you know, not not for not neglecting to give thanks. You know, uh, in, in this truth, you know, we, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're commanded to pray, right? And then praying, um, you know, the Lord not always listens, right? Um, sometimes it's the answer that the, the flesh looks for, right? Um, sometimes uh, it's it's the opposite. Right, but always um, good to remember to give thanks. Okay, um, so uh, I'm just gonna get a few precepts. Uh, start from First Thessalonians five and sixteen. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. Once again, we're supposed to be praying. Right, we're supposed to be praying, and then you know, bit why? Because it, it it's it's a test of our faith and a boost of our faith. You know, as, you know, there'll be times. You know, which, you know, it doesn't matter how quickly or how slowly the Lord responds, right? But there'll be times when, you know, you might put up a prayer and then in, 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 in what feels like the next moment, the Lord has its sign sealed and delivered. You're like, oh, damn, right? And then that, you know, that gives one faith, right? That, um you know, that, that our prayers are being answered, right? And then that in that, uh, in that time, right, we will, uh, you know, have, have things to look back upon. Right, because for instance, the scriptures say uh, this, right? Um, let me grab just two, just to segue real quick. All right, this is, uh, it's not the one, one, two and ten, Salakia. Um, this is uh, Sirach 2.10. So look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? That one, and then also Romans five and fourteen, fifteen and four, right? So for whatsoever things written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope, right? <clears throat> now I'm just going through, you know, this slight segue because, yeah, we have all of the things that we have uh, written in the scriptures, right? But it's <clears throat> like it's Satan. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, you know, yeah, we've got the things that are written in the, in, 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 in the scriptures, right, that we look at and that those are buildings of our faith, right? But when, you know, we're praying and then we were seeing the Lord, you know, uh, coming and fighting for us, you know, and answering our prayers, right? We can also look and consider those things. So then it's not only, it you know, helps, uh, you know, build more of that faith and that foundation in these scriptures and then in, in, in the accounts that the Lord has written for us because we have experienced things on you know on, on a smaller level right you know in comparison to some of the great miracles that we you know we read uh, in the scriptures right but we have still experienced something that we can reference in the times of trouble that are to come right so that's what's in it's it's, it's important to pray Right, and then goes on to say in uh, in First uh, Thessalonians five eighteen now says, um, in everything give thanks for this is the will of the Most High in Yahushua Mashiach concerning you, right? So give give thanks, okay, in everything, you know. Um, like I said, you know, starting off with myself, you know, uh, just just remembering to you know to give thanks, you know, the, the daily prayer that the Apostle uh, Agabar. All right, basically, um, you know, ad advised, you know, basically whenever one, you know, Akim go out and come back in, you know, just to, uh, you know, whenever Akim are going out, just to pray it's a Mosai to get to and from, you know, the destination safely, right? But, you know, what inspired this uh, was, you know, every now and then, like, I'll, you know, well, well, rather more like, more than not, I'll forget, you know, when I get back to be like, right, allow me to get to and from my journey safe, right? But then you, you, you know, it doesn't only ex stop there, but extends to everything, right? And everything that we pray for, right? You know, the Alba Hashem Yahushua for keeping us, the Alba Hashem Yahushua for keeping us in this truth, right? The Alba Hashem Yahushua, you know, for letting us wake up another day, right? The Alba Hashem Yahushua for, um, you know, giving us the strength and the faith to fight through the different adversities that we have, 
okay? You know, Tawada, Ya Hashem, Ya for all of these things and, you know, the innumerable things that the Lord does for us on a daily basis that we may not even know, right? You know, and even on that, uh, in, in that breath, you know, I think, I forget the second account, right? But uh, they, they, there are accounts that I can think of, but, you know, the, there are accounts that, you know, the Lord will be visiting people in their dreams, right? You know, it, it, for us, and we don't even know. Right, you know the 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 the, the account, the notable account, is um you know with with, with Yahweh Shai, right, and Pilate, right, where Pilate's wife had a dream. She was like, like, look, man, hey, they don't touch this man, right. Now in that instance, you know, we're we're you know we're re we 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 can read and we can reference that, right. But you know there are different ways that the Lord is 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 um basically fighting our cause, and we don't even necessarily know, right. You know, just be written in a record one day, Lord's will. You know, uh, you know, we 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 be those men. We can read about it in the kingdom, right? But yeah, let me just read that again. Uh, verse eighteen: In everything, give thanks for this is the will of the Most High in Yahweh Shai Mashiach concerning you. This is James one and seventeen. It says, um, "Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above." Who cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variables, neither shadow of <gasps> turning. Now, a point I wanted to get there, and then there's a precept off of this as well in John three twenty seven. Right, but every good gift and every perfect gift, because nothing, nothing that we have, um, did we get of ourselves, right? Even this thing of ours that we're in, right? We didn't choose to be here, right? You, you know, unlike these Christians, they say, oh, you know. I, I I chose the Lord, you know, this and the other, but that's not the case, right? It says John fifteen sixteen it says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you, and that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Right, he may give it you, right? So even the fact that we're in this thing, right, the Lord is the one that chose us. We we never received it of ourselves. Right, John three twenty seven. John answered and said, "A man can receive nothing except to be given him from heaven." Right. So there's nothing that we have, nothing that you know we, uh, uh, you know, there's literally nothing that didn't come from Yah Bashem Yah Shai. Okay. Once so once again, we must needs uh, give thanks for that. This is uh, Philippians four verses four through seven. Right. It says, "Rejoice in the Lord always." And again, I say rejoice, right? and that's it, right? Because at the end of the day, Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahshai, our, um, uh, was the word I'm looking for, our, our you know, our, our strength, our guidance, right, our protection, our everything. It says, let your moderation be known unto all men. <clears throat> the Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing. And I'm going to get this verse in another translation. It's a bit it is easy to understand. Right, so but it says be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto the most high. Right, and this is it in the um NLT, right? Philippians 4 and 6 again. It says, Don't worry about anything. Right? And that's it, don't don't worry about anything. Right? It says instead, pray about everything. Tell the most high what you need and thank him for all he has done. Right? You know, and on that, there's a, 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 a one's kind of precept here in Psalms 55 and 22 says, Cast thy burdens upon your hour, right? And he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved, right? So uh, all, all we need to do in this world, right, is to is to cast our burdens upon your hour, Shem, your shy, right? And then he will, he will uh, you know, we, we, we'll, we'll, we'll get our protection that way, right? We'll get our strength that way. So I just read that again because you know it's, it's quite quite a good uh, translation. It says, um, uh, uh, "Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything." All right. So literally, pray about everything. Cast cast you know burdens onto Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Right. Even if it seems, um, uh, would you call it? Even if it seems, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Basically, even if it seems like far fetched, that's the word. Even if it seems far fetched, but that's 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 those are the best ones, <laughs> right? Those are the best ones. I I remember um, would you call it uh, a few years ago when I first started working, man? 
you know, I was working with this uh, very adulterous um, woman, man. I was working with a very, very adulterous woman. And then basically I prayed to the Lord to sort it out, <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's I'm laughing because as I'm saying that, I'm, I'm imagining like, uh, you know, you get you get the dons. The dons will be like, look, man, sort it out. And then they get sorted. Right, not you know, not saying the dot everything, but you know, but, but, but that's, that's what it what it was like. You know, praise hey Lord, but because I sort this out, right, and, and the Lord was like, yeah, hey, look, hey, cool, alright, you know, I'm I'm the I'm I'm the I'm the big dog, right? Watch this, right, and then sorted it out, right, and then um then there was an, another instance, right, when um uh, would you call it when I when I first started working uh, at my current job, basically it was a very very small team, and um. They were basically it was all just lads, quite quite you know lad you know laddie lads, right? You know uh, Israelite foreigners, white boys, if you will. Um, you know you know I, I came in England. You know I understand that term white boys, but like Jakes, right? Um, and yeah, but then we, we we hired this this mo right, and then basically what happened was you know I prayed to the Lord, but I didn't fully believe. Right? I didn't fully believe in the prayer. Right, and then basically it came out, right, that he had actually done something worthy of getting fired, right. But basically, um, you know, it spirit had it whereby he ended up, you know, staying. But then the Lord had me find that out, right? Why to basically be like, hey, hey if you had had faith, <laughs> if you had had faith, and the ironic thing is, to this day, he is a pain, he's a thorn in my side at the job, man, right? To this day. Right, and you know what? Hey, hey mate, I'll just realize, hey, that's, that's the Lord, you know, just saying, hey, you don't, you don't want to have faith when you pray, hey, that's what happens, man, you know. But you know, there's a story I've told before, you know, so this is a goes, goes way back, right? But you know, it's still, uh, you know, to this day that that, that individual's a thorn in my side, just, just showing, you know, what you know, how the Lord feels about faithlessness when you, when you read, um. Hebrews 11th, 11th chapter 6 verse, it says, without faith, it is impossible to please him, right? So let me just finish this off in uh, 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 7 now, right? It says, um, and the peace of the Most High, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Yahweh Shai Mashiach. This is Colossians 3.17, and whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to the Most High and the Father by Him. Right, it's playing into the point. Ephesians five and twenty. Uh, you know the, these two kind of uh, next couple of verses in Colossians three, the next couple of verses and Colossians five. So Colossians three seventeen and the next couple of verses, and Colossians. Uh, in fact, even a bit up, they they, they kind of are the same basically put talking points right so Ephesians 5 and 20 give thanks always for all things unto the most high and and, in, and the father in the name of let me read that again giving thanks always for all things unto the most high and the father in the name of law of our lord Yahushua Mashiach. yeah and in all things right what did um, what did job say yeah uh, should, you know, should we receive good from the most high not evil right so the lord is um you know everything that we get ultimately is of the Lord, you know everything that we lose ultimately is of the Lord, right? The Lord has uh, has bigger plans, and if we be of the elect, right, we just have to appreciate that this is just a part of of, of the journey that the Lord um, wanted us to take. And then uh, last one to close it off, right? Psalms one o seven and one, O oh, give thanks unto Yahweh that He is good, for His mercy endureth forever. So as always, Lord, as always, edifying. Until the next time we say, Shalom.